Hey everybody, this is Complete Pete here. Just want to do a quick video um, that has something to do with magnet fishing, my newfound uh, hobby uh, that was brought up to me by my good friend Kayla. She suggested I might get interested in it because she just loves magnet fishing. Um, so, but one of the problems I ran into, we've been magnet fishing a lot, um, is not being able to contain the rope. This is a terrible mess. Uh, every time we go magnet fishing, the first thing we do, it, is untangle the rope. When we leave the house, this is all very neat. And somehow when we get to where we're going, we pull it out of our buckets, it, it's a train wreck. So there's no way to store this neatly. I know some folks like to use old uh, electrical wire cable spools. Some folks like to just like wrap up the rope neatly in a loop. Some folks are using extension cord holders, things like that. I just came up with an easy way for me uh, to keep track of our stuff and store the magnets so the magnets aren't swinging around and coming unraveled. What I've come up with is just a simple solution that works for me. Hopefully it's something that you can do easily and, and you might want to incorporate into your magnet fishing gear. Um, I'm going to be using a uh, toilet flange system. So what I have is just a couple of uh, toilet flanges. These happen to be ABS plastic. They are from uh, Lowe's. Uh, I looked at the PVC type and what I found was that I was going to need to buy a, a three foot section of three or four inch PVC. So that's like, you know, eight bucks. Uh, what I did find was a couple of flanges and as you can see, they look similar. Um, the difference is that if you start looking at the, uh, the size of these things, you can see that they're, they're two, different, uh, two different sizes. So that gives us the ability to nest right inside of the other flange without having to purchase another piece of three or four inch PVC pipe. So basically all I need to make this work is these two pieces of uh, ABS plastic. Um, anybody who's put any kind of PVC or ABS fittings together for a, a test fit knows that sometimes they're very hard to get back apart again. So once you press this apart and give it a little twist, it's actually quite, quite difficult to pull apart. Uh, and that's what I'm going to do. The other feature I'm going to add to this is, uh, you know, as as we uh, wrap our our line around this, and I have, you know, I think 66 feet of line. Uh, it fits with room, so you can easily get 100 feet of line on this on this reel. It's very lightweight, very strong. But I also want to store my magnet uh, inside. So this is an 1,100 pound. Uh, magnet. I use it in this configuration uh, because most of my magnet fishing is, uh, you know, off a kayak. If I was going to go, you know, off a, uh, a bridge or something, I might move my, uh, my shackle eye, you know, up to this position so I could drop the magnet straight down. Um, as I said, most of the time I use in this configuration. And what I want to do is I want to wrap my line around this spool and I want to store my magnet inside the spool. Um, one of the things that happens is we use plastic buckets. If we find anything, uh, it's in the bucket, you drop your rope and your magnet inside the bucket, then suddenly everything's stuck to the magnet. So it's just a big mess. So I'm just going to throw this thing together and just give you an idea of, of uh, how I'm going to make this work. As I mentioned, I plan to store my magnet in this end. So I want to put something in there magnetic that the magnet will be able to stick to. So I'm simply gonna drill a 5 16 hole, which is what this carriage bolt is, right through the hub of this uh, toilet flange, and I'm gonna put a bolt on the inside, and that's what I'm gonna use just to hold my magnet in place. Um, you'll be able to see that this is a carriage bolt, um, and as all carriage bolts, this one in particular is 5 16 but you're gonna see this, the square head underneath, and you can see it's kind of sharp. So once you drill the 5 16 uh, hole, through the PVC or the ABS, when you drive your nut on there, the nut will actually pull the square through the plastic and it, it'll, uh, it'll hold the head while you put the nut on so you don't have to like try to get a wrench or anything on there. Nothing too complex. I'm just gonna eyeball this. Actually, I'm gonna stick my, I'm gonna stick my uh, bolt on there just so I can kind of eyeball where this thing has to go. So we're going to make our mark right about there, I think. Because as you can see, I don't have a lot of room to move the magnet, so I have to be pretty, uh, pretty spot on with that. Um, one of the other things you'll notice is on the end of the drill bit, there's an angle on there. The bit is, uh, is angled. 
So if you try to drill at an angle, the drill will just skate right across. So I'm actually going to start drilling straight. And then once I've got that started, then I'm going to turn my bit and go through. Okay. So there's my hole, my angled hole through the PVC. I'll be dropping my bolt through there. I am going to just give it a little tap to set the, uh, to set the square head into the plastic. So now that's sort, that's sort, that's locked in there and it won't turn. I'm going to install a lock nut on the end. I'm going to uh, just use a wrench. I just happen to have a ratchet wrench uh, to install this. You could also use you could also use a uh, a box wrench. And this is just a long bolt. And one of the problems is that this is a nylock nut, so I'm actually forced to uh, tighten it up against the plastic washer that's built into it. Uh, the other thing I want to do is use a touch of glue to hold this together. I'm just going to use a regular uh, multi-purpose uh, ABS PVC cement and uh, just a little bit will do. Scrape most of it off of there. Take a little bit around the outside. Stick it together and just give it a little twist and that will not be coming apart. So I'm just going to let that glue set up uh, a little bit for a few minutes. I'm going to put my uh, line on here and I just want to show you uh, what it looks like uh, when I'm going to be storing my, my magnet set. Okay everyone, here's, here's a finished reel and this is how I would use it. Um, I would wrap up my uh, all my rope when I'm done. You can see the bolt in there. All I do is just drop my magnet in. Magnet stays inside. Um, it's a great way to store it so the magnet's not touching anything. Uh, you can see I, I use a little uh, rope management with my carabiner clip. You might notice uh, the float on the end. Um, I'll probably throw a couple of clips in of me actually using the magnet. Uh, I use it most of the time from my kayak. Uh, and what I do is I will take the carabiner, I go right through the side handle of the, ki uh, the kayak, and I have this float. I haven't had to use it yet, but I would imagine if I got really stuck on a rock uh, or I got caught in a current and I had a disconnect, all I do is take my carabiner off the side handle of my kayak and I could just drop it overboard and it'll float and I'll be able to go right back with uh, with some help and, and find it and get myself uh, unhooked off the rock. So you can see how this really will keep everything uh, very neat and organized. It's easy to drop this in your bucket. Uh, the magnets out of the way. Um, you don't have to use the float. Like I said, that's a that's kind of a kayak magnet fishing thing. Though for some of you that uh, are just fishing off of uh, docks and things like that. If you get your magnet stuck and you have to come back, if you don't want to go swimming for it or you want to have a chance to, to find it or, or get a boat or a canoe out there, you can just, you know, take a chance and at least you might be able to find it with the float. It's like three bucks. And I'll put some links down below for the float and the two parts uh, for the two toilet flanges that nest inside of each other. So this is my kayak fishing rig, but you could certainly use this for anything. It'll drop in a bucket. Um, and as I mentioned, this this one is specific for the way I kayak fish, um, because you can see how I have the shackle oriented. Um, I do have a second rig um, for uh, magnet fishing. It's the same, same sort of thing. Uh, same carabiner. You see how I use the carabiner. I still have the same float on there. This one in particular is uh, the magnets reconfigured to something maybe you're familiar with. This is, you know, for fishing off of docks and things like that. Same bolt down inside and all I do when I'm done is just put it through the notch, the rope, drop the magnet down inside and I have a very compact fishing rig. 
that I could drop in a five gallon bucket and the magnet won't get stuck to everything. You can also carry it by the carabiner if you want. Um, it's just a really nice inexpensive way to keep your rope and everything organized, especially when you're fishing off a kayak. If any of my friends out there are, are kayak fishing um, or uh, magnet fishing out of the kayak, Rope management is very important. You start getting rope uh, tangled around your legs and arms and things. If you flip that boat, uh, always plan for the swim. Uh, it's unlikely that you're going to be ready with a pocket knife or anything that'll cut this rope uh, to get yourself untangled. So um, that's why the, the management is so important to me. And I just figured this might be worthwhile just sharing with some of my magnet fishing friends that uh, may fish from a kayak or just want to be better organized for the regular, uh, regular magnet fishing. Thanks a lot. I will catch you on the next video.